Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is going to happen the next time you see your special person. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out in, and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here. Okay, that's way too many cards. Let's try again. Okay, I feel like the next time you will see a person, um, it will be a very, well for some of you, it will be a very passionate, very affectionate encounter with one another. Okay, someone here I feel like has some very strong romantic feelings for you and it feels like maybe they've been holding those feelings back, but it doesn't think that they can, it doesn't look like they can hold back much longer. Wow, I feel like there's... There's a few different many, um, messages that we're getting here in the energies. Firstly, it does feel like um, there is more than just two energies involved in this situation. So I don't know if you're in a relationship and attached to someone else, or I don't know if this is your person who is in a relationship or in a situationship of some sort with someone else. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't help or they can't help who they develop feelings for. And it feels like the feelings... I'm getting like a mirroring energy, especially with the lover's card, and it feels like the attraction that you feel for your person and the intensity of these emotions and that energy that you, you know, that you catch, that vibe that you get from them, it feels like they're mirroring it and they're throwing it back at you. So the attraction, the connection, the chemistry, it's all palpable, it's all there, and uh, they're mirroring back to you. Um... But there is something that is standing in the way. There is this, you know, they're married or they're in a relationship with someone else. But the next time you see each other, you could very well be acting on your feelings for one another. There is an energy of um, sexual desire. Okay, so a lot of sexual chemistry, sexual desire, passion, and very close physical proximity that is being picked up in this reading. So... I'm seeing that the attraction that I'm seeing in the cards here, it's more than just, it's influenced more than just by a physical or, you know, physical attraction. I feel like it's a romantic attraction here and it's influenced by feelings of them wanting a relationship with you or you're wanting a relationship with you. Them wanting to develop a sense of emotional intimacy or a sense of closeness with you. So... It, it, although it's a you know it's considered attraction, but there's a desire here to engage in a relationship or engage in physical or sexual intimacy with you here. I do feel like, as I was saying, you know, I do feel like there's um, there is someone else. So it's very important that the both of you do you know approach this situation with respect to each other, to yourselves, and of course to the third person, to the third party involved as well. Um, but the next time you see that, I do feel like I'm seeing like physical or sense, sen sorry, sensual attraction here. So, you know, it, which is, um, it's guided by the, by the desire, okay, by someone's desire, by the both of yours, desire for physical proximity. So, you know, 
it could even be like emotional okay it might for some of you might not necessarily be physical touch like you know a hug or a kiss or affectionate cuddle it could also be emotional so them wanting to emotionally open themselves up to you them wanting uh to show you a side to them that is um very vulnerable I see that there is an intellectual attraction here too, so it's, you know, it's guided by their interest in your mind or by the stimulating conversations that the both of you share with one another. There's of course an emotional attraction that the two of you share, which is this sense of uh, feelings of connection, attachment, or even a sense of vulnerability, or perhaps you might be developing that emotional connection the next time you see with one another. I do feel like there's a lot of complexities here because, you know, the both of you have feelings for one another and, you know, but at the same time, you're, you, you or this person feels guilty for having those feelings. Because there is someone else here. Or they feel guilty because, you know, they they have feelings for you but they're attached to someone else or they're pursuing someone else um for some of you i'm also seeing that you will i feel like you'll become more comfortable with this person the next time you see them because i feel like the both of you are kind of opening yourselves up to each other and i feel like you're both kind of like they're trying their best to honor and respect your personal space, but I do see them wanting to, um, like this attraction, this connection that you guys share has been building up over time. And I do see them wanting to, you know, get close to you and also to showcase their personality. That's coming up very strongly here as well. But you will notice, like to, um, pay close attention to their body language. You will notice their body, um, their body's talking to you. Their body is, you know, I am seeing... In the past, I feel like if you took note of their body language, it was feelings of like um, confidence, which then would enhance your feelings of attraction to this person. But I feel like their confidence for you or their confidence within themselves and within their attraction towards you is wavering a little bit. Okay, but if you pay attention, you'll definitely notice uh, their body language mirroring yours. Okay, um, that's definitely a sign of attraction. Them, like their body language really focused and directed towards you. Uh, a lot of eye contact and a lot of smiling as well. I'm also seeing... I'm also seeing that this person is, you know, they're aware of their attraction and your attraction to them. And I feel like this person is trying to either, um, like, for example, they can change the way that they dress or even the way that they act here to increase their level of attraction, um, to increase like your level of attraction towards them. Um, I, I do feel like there is, and I, I keep going back to this, but I do feel like there is someone else if it's not someone else per se if it's not someone else like um, a third party in the situation it's something else that might be getting in the way like this could be that they may have only just recently met someone right or it could also be the fact that maybe this is all taking place for some of you in some sort of professional work setting and maybe work is getting in the way right they have feelings for you but at the same time you know um there's professionalism and there's you know professional standards that the both of you need to adhere to and you know they respect their um well they respect their work position and they respect yours and they don't want to necessarily sabotage anything so maybe that's what's sort of getting in the way but i do see that this uh, attraction has been building over time and i do see that there's been a lot of flirtation even if there hasn't been a lot of verbal uh, flirtation there has been a lot of um like eye contact a lot of smiling a lot of like um you know th their body basically talking to you and you know the both of you um i can see that there's a lot of attraction so even if there's not a lot of communication um there's still a lot of flirting happening in the you know the non-verbal uh, sense um, some of, for some of you, I feel like they could also tell you that they're planning to, this isn't for everyone, but for some of you, they, they 
could tell you that they've recently broken up with someone and or they're thinking about leaving this person in order to pursue a connection with you just be very careful because I do feel like um, you know the ten of swords situation you don't want to be on the receiving end of this you don't want to be you know um, blindsided by some fantasy that you might have of your person and you know their situation so they could be attached to someone else and you could be swept up in the fantasy of you know you wanting and desiring this person so badly that you want for them to leave or to fall out of love with their current partner current partner and fall instantly in love with you so just make sure you do respect the situation okay um yours and theirs and make sure you're not sort of you're not playing out this fantasy that is built on you know wishful thinking here okay guys and these are your messages thank you as always for uh, watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye